All right, chat. So look, man, we back at it again with another video, bro. We back at it again with another Officer Tatum video. So look, I uh, was actually this actually happened last night, right? So let me get a little backstory before we get into the video. It's gonna be quick. I promise you. I know I talk a lot, but it's gonna be quick. Okay, let's get into it. So basically, I was watching the video last night and I was just coming up with so many different ideas. Like I was talking to myself because I seen the video and I was like, oh man, this is gonna be a great video to make. You know what I'm saying? I'm mad I watched it, but with the wood, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna tell them right it's off the rip that I watched it, but I already got some some key points I wanna you know point out and I got some things I wanna say. You feel me? So oh uh, yeah, man. We finna go ahead and get to the video, you know. Uh, before he said what he gotta say, I'ma say what I gotta say, so y'all won't think, oh, I'm just listening to him. No, 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 no. I already have my thoughts into stuff. I already put it in my head. So hey, it is what it is. So hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. Without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. So go download the Tatum clips. Y'all know what else to do. Let's get into this, ladies and gentlemen. I, I read this and it blew my socks off. Why did it blow your socks off, Mister Tatum? Because I am. Sick and tired of being sick and tired of situations like this. I want people to understand this. What really caught me off guard was this man said blew my socks off. I ain't never heard a black man say that ever in my life. I, I, look, I know, I know, look, I, I understand. Y'all go say, well, you got to put race on everything. It's just a joke, okay? It's just a joke, okay? Calm, calm, your, calm your penises down. It's just a joke. I'm sick and tired of situations like this. I want people to understand this. Teachers like this lady are responsible, in my opinion, based on my life experience and knowledge, are responsible. They're the very ones that's responsible for the degradation and destruction of black people and people of color in our country. She is the very, and and she is the very uh, personification of the destruction of our young people. Why do you say that, Mr. Tatum? This article is that... A boy told his teacher she can't understand him because she's white. Her response is on point. Says who? And, and you know what's crazy? When I seen that, when I seen that clip, okay, no, not even when I seen clip. When he read that, okay, when he read that, I like, oh, I'm look, remind you, I'm laying in my bed, okay. I'm like, whoa, what the, huh? You you can't understand me because you're white, bro. What? First of all, let me break this down to you. Let me break this down to any young person that's watching me right now. Look, we don't have the right to even say or tell any color or race that they don't understand us because they're white or because they're Asian and we're black. They don't know what we've been through. They don't know this. They don't know that. First of all, if you are any age, if you are any age of between, I don't even feel like doing math, but if you are a teenager, a kid, or even if you're in your mid-20s and mid-30s, we don't even have the right to say that. Simply because, bro, slavery was at, what, 16, 19, something like that, 16 something? It started around that area, that era, 16 something, okay? 16 something, if I'm not mistaken. Look, I didn't really pay attention to history. I don't, uh, look. Anyways, that's the best point. It started around 16 something. If you are in your mid twenties, mid thirties, you know, mid forties, maybe, bro, we don't even have the right to say that because at the end of the day, we can't tell a person you don't know you you don't understand because you're white. How you know that person that's white don't understand you because of the because of the color of their uh the color of their skin, bro. So I I say this all the time: white people done been to the been through the same thing that we've done been through. We just don't see it because the because society don't put it out on the net for people to see it because social media rules our country. Social media rules every single thing, every aspect of life. Social media rules. So when when a, when society puts certain things out on the internet, they put mostly black things out on the internet. Black people getting killed. Black people doing this. Black people getting shot by white people. By, like they put all that because it brings attention. Social media. That's literally controlling everything. But let us put something for from uh. Let us put something. As like a white person getting tortured by another white person or something like that. That ain't gonna get attention because that that person ain't black. That's what I'm saying. Like we can't say we don't have the right to even say things like that simply because we haven't been through it. We don't even know what we've been through. Just because I'm black don't mean I've been through hell. I, I mean I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And it's so sad because we say that to white people. And how you think that makes them feel thinking like, dang, bro, I'm not even that type of person. But yet you still telling you basically assuming I'm that type of person because of the color of my skin. Even even that white people that think about black people like that. Oh, you thugs, you this and that. Like, how do you think that made me feel because I'm black? How you think that makes them feel because they're white and they didn't ask to be white? So it's like when we say things like, oh, you don't know how you don't know what I've been through because you're white. 
Like, huh? Do you not know the childhood I've been through? Like, come on, I just could tell. It's so many white people that could go, just so many white people that go through certain stuff that we just don't know about. I mean, like, let's be real. Their parents could have been on drugs. They could have been adopted. They could have been kicked out the house. They could have did so many. They could have been beat by police officers. Like, they could have did so much, but we just don't see that side. We don't see that side. We think white people live in this beautiful neighborhood. Even when a black person live in a nice neighborhood, what they say? Oh, you live in a white neighborhood. Because it's quiet? Because it's peaceful? Because you don't hear gun violence? So it's a white neighborhood? That's kind of odd to me. So when they when when I re, when I heard that and I'm like, bro, come on now, we gotta do better, dog. We gotta do better. And then for teachers to agree with it, bro, don't agree with that. Teach them, teach them, show them you gotta change their mind because at home they being taught something totally different. Now they finna go in this world thinking that every white person's like that or oh she don't understand because she's white. She don't understand because she's white. Now they finna start thinking like that, bro. We got to change their minds. And for you being a teacher, yeah, you a good teacher. You got all these different awards and all this. But at the same time, you got to change their mind. Like, look, 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 I'm going to just say, I'm going to just say some type of name because apparently it had to be a black boy. So I'm going to just say, look, look, DeAndre, dog, hey, hey, cuz, you, you don't know what I've been through. You feel me? I might be white, but you don't know what I've been through, homie. You feel me? Like, come on now. We got to really change their mind because now they're thinking that people don't understand. People don't, now, now black kids thinking that white people don't understand them because they're because of their color. Like, huh? Got to do better, bro. Especially you being a teacher. This is the stuff that needs to be taught. Yeah, we teach about slavery all day long. All day long. But now black kids are using slavery as an as a, as a excuse. Was you being whipped? Was you sold into slavery? Nigga, you was born in 2003. You wasn't even born into slavery. Like, shut up. I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. You was born You was born in 2000. Why is you talking about slavery? <laughs> you six years old. Shut up. <laughs> like, come on now. Says who? These social justice warrior teachers are destroying the minds of people of color. The white guilt that these people are harboring are destructive. They're not beneficial. What does she say? Why do you say that, Mr. Tatum? What, what, is she, what could she have done? They claim that she's this great teacher. She got a, a Graves Award in 2015 right. for being such an excellent teacher and all of these things. She got her kids doing podcasts. And all of a sudden, and that's, and that's this good. is what she says. Things changed for me that day when during the class discussion, one of my kids uh, uh, bluntly told me I couldn't understand because I was a white lady. I had to agree with him. I sat there and tried to speak openly about how I could never fully understand and went home crying. Why did she cry? Because my children knew about white privilege before I did. The closest I could ever come was empathy. Why is this a problem, Mr. Tatum? Why is this a problem? Preach. Damn. You are making this about race when you don't enlighten your children that understanding somebody has minimal to do with the color of their skin. Why? Because most of the things that people go through are not bound by skin color. Exactly. And why would a kid have the right to make the claim that you don't understand what I go through because you're white, that should be the same sentiment that you don't understand what I go through because you black. Then we preach. Minister Officer, Minister Tatum in the building. Preach, my boy. Exactly. Exactly. That's And people just don't see that. I don't get it. I just don't get it. I really don't. We can point the finger at each other all day long. But the truth of the matter is that this is not what you should be doing when your child or the child in your class say these things. You shouldn't go home and cry and say, all I can do is be empathetic. That's the stupidest thing on planet Earth and the most counterproductive thing you can do as a teacher. You are precipitating, precipitating the brainwashing of your young people. That's just like if you're a teacher right now and the kid is biracial and you call that kid black. 
What you're actually doing is perpetuating white supremacy. Why? Because of the one drop rule, because of the purification of the white race, meaning that if you are have any drop of any race, you cannot be white. You can no longer be considered white. Why? Because the white race is pure and the white people don't do that today. But the black people and the people of color are doing it. They are the ones pushing and facilitating this. When a black kid say when a biracial kid say he's black. He's excluded himself from his white side, which adds to white supremacy. And it's a lot of it's a lot of black kids doing that. It's a, it's a lot of colored people doing that. A lot of them. In purification of the white race, people were dumb enough to do it then, and and it's now people are dumb enough to facilitate it today without any influence from white people. Now let me continue on. The teacher is a fraud in my opinion, maybe not knowingly. I don't know if she, she's acting in good faith. But she goes and she talks about, are we going to start talking about writers of color and historians of Latino descent? Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But you don't need to focus on race. Focus on the subject. There were black and white people in history who were great authors. Talk about them all. There were black and white people and Latino people who are great entrepreneurs. Speak of them all. Because just because I'm black don't mean I don't want to hear from a person who's white. That's exact. That's the point that I'll be trying to make. Okay. That's the point that I'll be trying to make. I remember when Black Lives Matter first came out and I had a whole disagreement uh, with another black woman about Black Lives Matter. I mean, she she like she was gonna snap my neck off because I said I don't support it. You feel me? But that had nothing to do with this. I, I don't know why that just came to my head. I just had to think. I, I don't know. Look, look, my guy. Hey, 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 hey. I don't know why that just came to my head. Okay. I just thought it was meant to be said. Okay. I don't know. Anyways, so so the whole point that I wanted to get from this video, because you know I'm not gonna watch this entire Austin Tatum video, even though it's 12 minutes long. I'm not gonna sit here and watch the entire video. You feel me? Because we we dang near have exactly the same point of view on certain situations the whole point that i want to get out of this video is that just because of a person's skin tone that doesn't mean that they don't understand you because of their color it doesn't matter about the color people stop putting race on every single thing stop just because they're white doesn't mean anything just because they're black doesn't mean anything a white person can understand a black person clearly a white person and a black person could have went through the same thing they just probably didn't know because of what society say or what what the people say or what the history books say but they white people and black people at the end of the day i look at it like this if you want to be successful in this world you got to work hard regardless if you're white or black that's just how i'm looking at it you feel me if you was called to do something by god you got to work at you got to work hard you know what i'm saying you got to work hard because hard work does pay off at the end of the day so let's say if a if if a white person wants to be successful, or, or let's say a black person wants to be successful, because a lot of black people want to be successful. I see a lot of black people starting their own little personal businesses. I got a couple black owned businesses, shirts and companies that I just you know bought clothes from. But my whole thing is, if a black person want to be successful, they gotta work hard. There's no there's no color in between or whatever. You feel me? It's it's like they gotta go through the same pain, the same hurt. To get to where they at you think everybody just became successful overnight a white person gotta do the same thing they gotta go through the same pain the same hurt the same trials and tribulations to get to where they're at right now you feel me so black and white gotta go through the same thing to become successful they not just gonna get a little uh what, what y'all call it a white privilege card oh you want to be successful you're white okay here's your white privilege card there you go uh a million dollars is coming your way today and uh you get a million dollars every month you don't even gotta work no it's not like that you feel me they gotta work as hard as a black person so my whole thing is no matter what if y'all want to say slavery still exists to this day whatever y'all want to say my whole thing is white people and black people go through the same thing i hate the fact that people put race on each it's on every situation every situation oh you don't understand me because i'm black you don't know what i've been through to get to the place i'm at do you not know what i've been through to get to where i'm at do you not know where i've been been through to get to where i'm at and i'm white but do you not know what i've been through i've been through hell to get to where i'm at and i know that's somewhat some of the things that the white people want to say 
because they go through the same thing. It's not. It's look. Come on now. We gotta. We gotta really do better. Thinking that this is back. Thinking that we in the sixteen hundreds right now. Like we really gotta do better. And I hate the fact that it be kids saying stuff like this. Like, bro, you was born in two thousand and five. Is, is, what 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 Chuck E. Cheese stays? What, what, uh, go to Chuck E. Cheese where a kid can be a kid. Like, I mean, like, bro, you were born in 2011, talking about saying you don't know what I you don't know what I've been through. What you got on punishment about three or four times? I show like uh, I've been on punishment too. I mean, like, I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like, what have you been through? You was born in 2011. What have you been through? What have you been through? COVID. We all been through it. I mean, like, bro, I'm just saying. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, anyways, man, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, dog, stop going on race. Stop living by race. Stop living by the color of your skin. I didn't ask to be black. I didn't ask to be brown. Whatever you want to call it. I didn't ask to be this. They didn't ask to be white. It don't matter. A white person could definitely understand where I'm at because they probably been through the same thing that I've been through. So stop even saying that, especially you young, especially you young colored people. Stop. Stop, bro. We're young. We don't, We haven't been through anything. I've been on this earth 18 years. What in the world have I been through in 18 years? Half of these people been, bro, you've been on this world for, uh, world for 11 years. Please tell me what have you been through? What you got your game taken? You come play Mario Brothers for about two days? That's what you've been through? What? I've been through worse. I've been through worse. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> honestly, man, come on, bro. We got to do better, man. I really just want to, I wanted to just play the beginning part. Like, that's it. I just wanted to play that part of the video. Uh, but anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. Also, follow your boy on IG, y'all. Follow your boy on IG, bro. Come on now. Y'all got to come on, bro. Step up y'all game, bro. We got 30K on here, but we got like two, what, 400, 400 something on IG. Bro, come on, bro. Give me to a 1K, bro. Give me one to 1K. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, man, we got to enjoy the Actually, we got like two something. I lied. But uh, <laughs> give your boy to uh 1K on Instagram, bro. So yeah, go ahead and follow your boy. I love each and every one of y'all. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications being your boy the pan god bless stay blessed peace